Hey, uh, Mr. 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 Sandler, uh, do you ever feel like uh, you're behind in life? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. Uh, I feel behind a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, life's been crazy. Yeah. What What would you say helped you get through all the hard hardship in your life? The not feeling like you're behind. I mean. You make millions and millions of dollars a year. How do you feel like you're behind? Uh, I just uh, drink a lot of... A lot of compare slogger. I always thought everybody was better. I, you know, like Chris Farley, way funnier than me. And, uh, you know, I also hung out a lot with Norm MacDonald, and he's funnier than me. And uh, I also hung out with uh, a lot of other people, too, uh, that are just really, really funny. Uh... I don't remember the last time I've actually felt like uh, I was actually making moves and, you know, doing some good stuff. Uh, Mr. Arnold, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, do you feel like you're, you, you compare yourself very often? God, are you kidding me? I constantly compare myself. That's all I do. But I'll tell you what, when I stop doing it, that's... When I started to become myself, that's when I started doing movies. Yeah, I started actually doing movies, and that led me to being governor for California. Hey, uh, Mr. Sean Connery, you know, people say you kind of sound like Bane. Oh, I'm Sean Connery. There's only one, and only one Sean Connery. Although I will say, he does fight better than I do. I wonder if I could fight like him. I would actually have become more successful. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching an episode of Logan Tyler Nelson's show. See, even those celebrities, they compare themselves all the time. They do. And I know it's just silly. I'm doing little videos of, you know, impressions and doing little videos of these guys that, you know, who knows if they really said that stuff. But everyone deals with it. Everyone feels like they're behind. Everyone feels like they're constantly not good enough. But I'm here to tell you a few things that you can do to stop feeling behind. First things first, know that you are not the only one. You're not the only one who has hair that's sticking in the back of their head. First things first, you need to know you're not the only one. Everyone feels like they're falling behind. Our mind likes to do that to us. Our imagination can be really good for us. Like, you know. If it comes to, like, actually doing a job that's creative. But it can also work against us. It can make us believe things that are what I like to call honest lies. Honest lies. It's this disbelief that's inside your head that f feels so f real. Because when feelings happen, they make you believe that it's real. You know, it's like uh, when you see Leonardo DiCaprio uh, on on Hollywood News that day and he just signed for doing $34.4 million for doing the next Titanic. And then you watch Titanic about four months later, you suspend your disbelief that he's not that character, Jack, dying of hypothermia, saying goodbye to Rose. Even though, inside your head, you saw, you saw Leonardo DiCaprio sign up for doing that movie for $32.4 million. You still suspend the disbelief. This does relate to comparison because it makes you believe that you're not doing as well as those other people. It makes you believe that those people that you're comparing yourself also don't feel behind. It makes you believe that those people that you look up to also have some really bad problems too. So it's this terrible thing that we all go through that we 
always, always, always compare ourselves. Even no matter if the people we're comparing ourselves to are so depressed and down when they go home and when they're alone because character, really, what is character? The definition is character is what you do when you're alone. And those people when they're alone, I mean, it's like the sad story of Robin Williams. <sighs> Gotta pay homage to Robin Williams. He looked so happy. He laughed more than anybody. He made jokes that could change the entire room. I mean, he did these awesome impressions. He was so fast. He was on a TV show where only he could improvise, no one else could. And... When he died, unfortunately, everyone thought that he had depression, but they weren't sure what to do, so it was never spoken about. And then when he died, it was really because he had deep, deep, deep sorrow. So this video is important because I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to get so depressed when you're alone and compare yourself and get down on yourself. I think a great step, the first step you could take, if I'm talking to the right person, a person who goes on social media a lot, like you know, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, go for a couple of days without it. It's going to feel good. It's like, it's kind of like when you drink a lot of booze and you just keep drinking it and drinking it and drinking it. And then all of a sudden you have your hangover and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do that again. But then once you start feeling better, you do it, right? Same thing with social media. Don't go back on just because you feel better after not being on it. Stay away from social media for a little bit and you're going to feel way better. Another thing you can do to stop comparing yourself is by just doing mini celebrations for yourself. Going, I am right here right now and I chose these cards and I'm dealing with the cards that I'm dealt. Rather than going... If I only, if, if only, if only, the if only, it's called the if only cocktail for putting yourself in Loserville. The if only cocktail. Don't drink it. Just don't drink it. Just don't drink it. Don't do it. If Arnold was here, he'd be like, no, put it down. Do not drink the car. Don't drink it. No. Seriously, he would say, he would say stay away from it because he's a healthy guy. And he knows that once you start thinking that you are not enough, that's just putting yourself in Loserville. And no one's going to want to hang around those people. And you're not even going to want to hang around yourself. And the last and final thing that I would do to get rid of comparing yourself is remind yourself of why you're truly, truly comparing yourself. Is it because you're unhappy with something? Is it because you see these pictures on Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter or, or the media and you go, oh God, like that's awesome. But what you're seeing is the final product. You're not seeing the process. You're not seeing the process. You know, you're not seeing these two people, for example, who look so happy, right? They look so happy. They just got married. Ah, oh, yeah, right? But what if just two hours ago, before they took that photo, they were fighting? They were fighting because they weren't sure who really really, 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 really is going to take the bite and move to the city that they want to live in. 
because one of them lives in Chicago and does a great job in Chicago, and the other one lives in L.A. and does a great job in L.A., but they're fighting two hours before that, but they didn't take a picture of that because that's the process, but they had to go through that fight to love each other again. So remind yourself, sometimes you got to just look at things as this is just a product. It's, it's again, that honest lie that I'm talking about. That disbelief, that sort of thing that we like to believe in, but it's not really true. So, guys, I hope this video helps you with feeling like you're not behind and you shouldn't compare yourself anymore. So, I want to say to you guys, I test you, I dare you to please don't compare yourself for a couple days and see how you feel. I bet you'll feel 100% better. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Logan now to Tyler Nelson show. Oh, yeah, the Logan Tyler Nelson show coming at you as much as I can. Please connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I really appreciate anybody who takes the time to watch these.